Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to show how can we upload the Twinkai 3 controller and how can we compare the offline with the online project. This is a very common question in our daily maintenance job or the operation job, especially if we are going to download the program or modify the program, we better upload the program. And after we change the program, sometimes we need to compare the online with the offline program and check out what the change between the offline program and the online controller program. The Twinkai 3 software version in your laptop should match with your online Twinkai 3 controller. If your Twinkai 3 software in your laptop doesn't match with the online PLC controller, for example, in this case, one online controller, or actually this is a one online laptop, running the Twinkai 3 software, I simulate as a PLC. Its version, that is a 3.1.40.22, this version. And in my second laptop, that is my remote laptop, I'm going to use this second laptop to upload this controller. My second laptop installed, that is the latest software, 3.1.40.24.7, that is the latest software so far. So this software, especially this main number, that 40.22 and 40.24, this main version, they are now the same. So to match the offline software and online controller, so we need to install this remote manager into my second laptop. That means my base software, that is 3.1.40.24, and I install this remote manager run as an instant. The instant running the lower version software allows me the second laptop can remote upload the online controller, the lower version controller. All right, let me show how can we do that. And this is my second laptop. I already installed this remote manager. My current version that is a Twinkai 3, 3.1, 40.24.7. And I also install the 3.1.40.22.30, the remote manager software. So firstly, we need to guarantee we can connect that controller. So we find out this uh, TwinCAD config mode. I can right click, click this uh, router, edit routers, and hit this add. The IP address of my remote controller, that is 192.168.1. 101. He just uh, enter host name and IP. And then once it show up here, that means this laptop already found one remote controller. So this is a remote controller name, and this is IP address, and this is a AMS night ID number running inside that controller. And then let's hit this uh, IP addresses and make sure that is a uh, static and make sure that advanced setting check out. If you are remote communicating with this uh, controller, probably this connection timeout could be set to 10 seconds. Because sometimes if we try to use a VPN or remote connection to a PLC, so that timeout should be a larger, for example, five to 10 seconds or even higher value. Okay, after this, let's hit this uh, add route. Okay, and let's uncheck this uh, secure ADS and default name, that is an administrator, password, that is a one. That is default username and the password from back of controller. Okay, he says, okay. So once we got a connection, so this connected will show cross, that means my second laptop already found this online controller. And after this, let's keep this a close. Here, that means my laptop is connecting this remote controller. Okay, let's open this uh, TwinCAD 3. Right click, click this uh, run as an uh, administrator. So because this laptop already installed couple remote manager, so we can see the latest software that is a uh, 4024 and other versions that is a uh, remote manager I installed. So I installed this a uh, 4022.30. Also I installed this a uh, 40 22.16 and because my remote controller is running 40.22 this main version so I use this latest sub version 40.22.30 so I click this uh, 30 
And meantime, someone will ask, so how can we know the version running inside one online controller? So firstly, you could connect this uh, controller and then shift this controller from running mode to config mode, basically stop this uh, controller. Then go to the Windows control panel inside this controller and check out the current version running inside this uh, controller. So once you know this uh, remote version, you can switch to the version matched with this uh, online controller. At least this main version should match. If your remote controller is running, for example, 4022 point, let's say 20. So this point 30 is still workable for this uh, slightly lower version. But this uh, 4022, your offline TwinCast 3 software and online PLC, they must match this uh, main version. So I switch this uh, 4022.30 and then let's hit this uh, file and hit this uh, open and hit this uh, open project from target. From this uh, TwinCast 3 software, there's no button shows upload, but this uh, remote project from target that allows you to upload one project from one online controller. So let's hit this uh, open project from target. And from this list, it will show all the online controller your software now can connect. Okay, so now it shows I'm connecting this remote PLC, this remote PC there. So it's okay. Now I'm hit this okay. And after this, it will ask you uh, which directory we can allocate our project. So you'd better create one folder. The folder could name a date name or the time or some specific name. So I name it TwinCast3 Upload. Okay, he says a select a folder. So the project will upload to this folder. So this process could wait maybe around one minute. All right, now it's upload successfully. So we can see this is my project name running inside this remote PLC, this remote PC there. And from this project, so we can see inside this project, that is the same as uh, it's running. So I have a main, I have a sub camera program. So I have a, this valve control sub program there and double click this main. So it has a code here. So this is the project running inside this remote PLC there. And now it shows my second laptop here. I'm running this 4022.30. This remote manager, this instant software now. And from this list, we can see now it's connecting this remote controller now. Okay. So if I hit this login, my remote controller now I'm running inside one laptop PC. So it will show like this. Uh, it will cancel the login, basically cancel this operation. But most of the cases, when we try to upload this project, probably we need to online monitor the current program. So most of the cases we will select this, log in without any change. So using this way, we will not download any change to this remote PLC. We just need to monitor, online monitor using this uploaded project. So if I hit this login without any change, so we can see this is the current status of this remote PLC controller. Okay, now I'm going to show how can we compare. So firstly, let me log out. So if I assume I changed one code, for example, I changed this uh, cell, my tax to ABCD, I save. And now I'm demonstrating if I do some offline based on this uploaded project. I'm trying to compare this offline project with a online project running inside the remote PLC. So what we can do is this, find out this PLC project, right click and find out this compare controller project with a target. Here is this. And then it will pop up this project compare. So this allows us to compare our offline with the online PLC controller. So left side, that is the offline project. Right side, that's our remote PLC controller there. And this bolt shows the change portion.
So let's expand. It will show our main got a change because I changed this uh, text here. Okay, if I double click, it will show the detail change. The online PLC there, that is ABC and offline that is this. So using this way, we can quickly find out where we changed from offline comparing with the online. And this is offline compared with the online. And another way we can compare offline with another offline project. For example, this is our offline. So let's find out the right corner. Still find out this uh, TwinKite config mode. Right click, find out the tools. And here, TwinKite project compare. So this is our source and this is a destination project. Uh, basically from here, we can browse our uploaded project. And this is our online changed project. For example, when we try to browse the project, you can select this uh, TS project and click this open. And here, click another project. He says, OK. It will try to compare the source and this uh, destination project. So using these two buttons, it will find out the difference between these uh, two projects one by one. It's very useful. OK, that is uh, the compare. So we can use this project offline compare between the source and the destination. Also, we can use this right click, click this uh, compare controller project with a target, compare of offline with the online PLC. And use this file, open this open project from target, we can upload the project from online PLC controller. Okay, that's for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.